Well, today marks the first day of early voting with 50 voting locations throughout Miami-Dade and Broward counties. Dozens of voters eager to cast a ballot. So eager, in fact, that they camped out the night before at this Miami location outside the Shenandoah Library. It is a tight race for District 27, a seat being vacated by veteran Congresswoman Ileana ross -Layton. And it's mostly a Republican district, but one poll conducted by the New York Times just last week showed Democratic candidate Donna Shalala in the lead over her opponent, Maria Elvira Salazar. So here's Local 10's Janine Stanwood with a closer look at the race. The the gloves are off in the fight for District 27. A seat now open after longtime Congresswoman Ileana ross Leighton announced her retirement. I'm going door to door. I'm talking to people. Democrat Donna Shalala served as Secretary of Health and Human Services in the Clinton administration, was the president of the University of Miami, and says she knows how to reach across the aisle. The assault weapons ban, uh, the children's health insurance plan, the privacy regulations, over and over again, I've delivered bipartisan legislation. I know how to do it. We need to work in the White House. Former Spanish language journalist Maria Elvira Salazar was a political correspondent. She's running as a Republican and says she's got the better ground game to get votes. The strategy is to keep on touching voters. Uh, I am visiting every sector of my district and things are going really well. Donna Shalala no es para Miami. In this radio ad, a pro Salazar political action committee slams Shalala for not speaking Spanish and for scheduling an event with a member of Congress who once praised Fidel Castro, though that member never showed up. Bravo, Trump! Shalala's campaign has criticized Salazar for aligning herself with Donald Trump. The two disagree on just about everything from the economy, health care, and on immigration, blaming the other party for getting it wrong. President Obama promised Spanish television while I was there that we were going to have an immigration reform law the first year of his presidency, and we got a bone called DACA executive order. The Republicans stopped them from getting major uh, immigration reform. The Republicans clearly do not want immigration reform in which we give people a pathway to citizenship. District 27 voted for Hillary Clinton in 2016, but there are a lot of Republican-leaning voters in the Cuban and Venezuelan exile community. So this is definitely a race to watch. For more information, go to our website, local10.com. On the campaign trail, I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. All right, Janine, thanks a lot. And as she just talked about, for complete election information, plus a look at the amendments or the governor's race, head on over to local10.com and look under our election section. Then be sure to tune into Local 10 for your election night coverage all night long, including live streams on local10.com.